Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to uh, circle move. So all right, what we're gonna do is we're going to, all right, so if you're new here, this is what we've done with Pygame. We've built a circle and each time we click it, the colors change. So now let's make make it so whenever we click inside the circle, start disappears and the circle moves off because the next video will put a border and it'll bounce. But right now, let's just because we're gonna have to change a lot. So all right, let's look at the code that we have so far. So one of the first things we're gonna have to change is we're going to have to um, if you go back and look at your code, we're going to have to have, hang on. Okay, so right here, this is going to have to be zero, the number lock is off, and zero. So now, one of the next things is let's get rid of this color fill. So let's block that out. Okay, so let's check and make sure we did this right. Oops. So we need to make, we need to put pass in here. Okay. So now when we click, nothing happens. Okay, good. We did that right. So now, one of the next things we need to do is we need to change this to text color. So we have our colors. This is going to be equals black. So we come here. This is our start. So now we're going to change this to text color so this is what it is when it starts and then when we come in here to click so now we have something to do so we're gonna get rid of our pass and now we're going to change our uh, text color to white so I want you to think about this so it's inside this loop going over and over and over and over again and our text for our start font is black but once it clicks it's going to go white and blend it into the background so let's just show you so it's here it's here it's here let me make sure i didn't test this make sure you can see this okay good so i click this disappears start is still there it's just white we're doing real simple to get the job done okay so now the next change is we need to come up here and we learned about our circle positions, right? So we're basically gonna copy this. So we're gonna say circle X and circle Y equals this right here, okay? copy and then basically change this to this alright so let's go and talk about this for a second I did that so I did the easy one here so we can wrap our head around we did this the, the hard code way where we took our dimensions of our X and Y of our window and we did a floor division to get a hole because you can't have floating if you didn't see that if you haven't seen all these before, I won't take it personally, but right now I will put uh, the playlist for this whole setup. So, all right. So now we have our circle movement and we're going through. So now the next little bit is we need to, inside our loop, do one more thing. Back out here. So, okay. Now we need the change. 
and we'll do we'll do some random we'll do some randomness here in just a second because this is going to go up after we click so all right let's make sure we oh one more back so it needs to be in this outside of our event of clicking we want this to constantly do this as long as the window's open so that's why it's going to go right here so, okay so we have our position for our circle. All right. So circle. Here's our here's our circle position right here. So this is what it's going to be. Circle x circle actually here hang on. I'm skipping a step. We need to do some math first so all right when we click inside the circle let's have let's let random pick a random number of change so all right we're gonna do uh, and we need to get our notations right move X and move Y so move X move Y equals random dot rand int and if you do not know what rand int is I'll put that up right here and we want it to move because this is zero zero in the top corner so we need to do positive or negative so let's go negative 20 through through positive 20 for the first and random dot rand int and same thing negative 20 through 20 let's close that out and move this over just a touch thought that was enough to start with so all right so here we are and let's just let's just make sure we're in the right spot there we go so now we take our circle circle position so once we hit inside the circle these two are generated. This amount of movement is generated. So we're going to take our circle. Uh, let's see if I did it right. Circle X. And increment that by move X. And I'll show you why we're doing this. And then circle Y increment by our move Y. And I'll show you why we're doing it this way. Because we want it here to cycle through, because we want it to be incrementing every single time. Because if we only incremented it one time, adding it if we only added it once it would just move the circle one little bit so you have to constantly increment so each time let's just look at it so every single time inside the circle okay good all right boom just like that run it again boom just like that now right now it's a little silly because it's just going off into Neverland just like that so that is that it's kind of silly but that was a long video I knew this was gonna be long and we're gonna break it up here next video we're gonna put a border around the window and we're gonna have to do some math on that border but there we go a little bit longer than I'd like but I wanted us to get all that in so we could really do something cool. So thanks for watching as always. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, go ahead and do that now. And if this type of video you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But please stay tuned, keep watching. Please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below and I'll get right to them. So as always guys, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye guys.